Hi, I'm Brian S. Mahoney of BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. What Mathematicians Do Mathematicians use advanced mathematics to develop and understand mathematical principles, analyze data, and solve real-world problems. Work Environment Mathematicians work in the federal government and in private science and engineering research companies. They may work on teams with engineers, scientists, and other professionals. How to become a mathematician. Mathematicians typically need a master's degree in mathematics. However, there are some positions available for those with a bachelor's degree. Salary. The medium annual salary for mathematicians was $101,600 or $360 in May of 2012. Job Outlook. Employment of mathematicians is projected to grow 23% from now to 2022, much faster than the average for all occupations. Businesses will need mathematicians to analyze the increasing volume of digital and electronic data. Application Resume Many jobs require job seekers to complete an application instead of submitting a resume. But an application is a resume in disguise. Its purpose is to show your qualifications. Assembling the following information about yourself in advance will make it easier to complete applications and resumes. Identification be prepared to give your name, address, phone number, and social security number. You may also need to bring proof of identification when you pick up and drop off the application. Employment history. List the month and year you started and ended each job. Your supervisor's name, address, and phone number. Your job title, location, salary, and major duties and your reason for leaving. Education and certification. Know the name and city of the school you attended and the year you received your degree and the name, level, and award and renewal dates of certification. Special skills. List any special skills you have that are closely related to the job such as computer applications or equipment operation. References. Provide the names, phone numbers, and addresses of three or four people who have agreed to recommend you. When you pick up an application, don't miss an opportunity to make a good first impression. Dress as you would for the job. Politely request two copies of the form or make your own copies of the original before you start filling it out. Read the entire application before you begin. Then use one copy as a rough draft and the other as the final product. Write neatly with black ink. Answer every question on the application. Write not applicable or none if a question does not apply to you. Some reviewers suggest answering will discuss in interview if asked for information that might disqualify you. Make a copy of your completed application. If you go back for an interview, take this record with you. Having a completed form will also make it easier to fill out the next one. Although forms do not offer the same flexibility as a resume, you can still find ways to highlight your best qualifications. For example, you can use strong action verbs to describe your duties. If you do not have paid experience, you can give job titles to your volunteer work or list relevant academic experience substituting student for job titles. Computer Applications If you are filling out an application for a computer database, you will want to use keywords and simple formatting. Put the most important information first. Include as much information as you can for each question without becoming wordy or repetitive.
The more relevant details you provide, the better your chances of using a keyword that matches an employer's requirements. Before submitting the form, copy and paste your answers into a word processing program so you can check the spelling. Thank you for watching. If you have a topic for a training video you would like created, then leave your choice in the comment section. Also, like or thumbs up this video. If you would like information on how to start your own business, which includes how to get government grants, how to write a business plan, how to select your business name, how to use free internet marketing to advertise your business, and much, much more, then visit BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more than over 1,000 free training videos we will be creating are uploaded. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day.